Hey yo people, Philip Blank here and today on Start It Up we have with us this beast of a truck, a 2023 Ram TRX in Havoc Edition. Now this truck is an absolute monster from the tires, the shocks, the engine, and the sheer size. Oh my gosh, it is a beast. Now with this crazy vehicle, we could make a full on hour long video going into all the minute details, just digging into the frame, the suspension valving, the engine itself, the interior. We'll just kind of hit the high level and what it's like to drive one of these things. Now the Havoc Edition is a cosmetic package on top of a fully loaded 2023 TRX and it's bringing with it the Baja yellow paint with the Prowler yellow stitching on the interior. This is a limited edition, bumping the price up to around 110, 125 based off of dealer, but Dodge has not announced how many it's going to make in the run, so we'll, we'll have to see how limited it actually becomes. Now starting off with the truck is the most prevalent feature, its massive size. We had the Raptor here next up to it and it was dwarfing it. This thing is just huge. I'm six foot, I'm a little downhill, so it makes me smaller, but getting into it like oh, I cannot believe the sheer size of this thing and I can't say I'm really looking forward to driving it more on the road just on how wide it is you're going to be left and right taking up all of your space now at the core of this truck is the incredible V8 6.2 liter Hemi which has the Hellcat engine supercharged putting out 702 horsepower and 650 pound feet of torque then you have the actual functioning scoop pulling all that air down into the filter and then pumping that into the supercharger. Now the difference in the Hellcat engine versus the Demon engine is the size of the supercharger. This one has a 2.4 liter supercharger and then the Demon has the upgraded size boosting your horse up to a potential of 840. Now while I do see the future of potentially making a Demon TRX, 702 horsepower is laughably insane in this truck and it just puts it down from down 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds. Now maybe that's not supercar fast but this is a massive massive truck weighing 7800 pounds. Now the ground clearance on this thing is 11.8 inches and it is 88 inches wide, 80 inches tall and then 233 inches long. Now the bragging rights really come from the off-road capability. You got your 35 inch Goodyear tire standard on there but as things go, the more expensive things become, the less likely they are to be used and put to their potential as 100K plus for this truck, not gonna be taking it, dumping it through mud puddles, even though it's capable of it, just less and less likely to be used and abused that way as opposed to an old beater, something you can scratch up, hit trees, and not really have much concern about. Now under the hood here, you have a massive air box. Now this is covering up your air filter below but we have the hilarious little Easter egg of the T-Rex eating the Raptor. I'll play on forward there. Now, coming around, you can see the goodies down below. We got that V8 Hemi with the massive supercharger there up on the top. And then above, you do have the functioning hood scoop. They do have a very bold hood going around the front your black accenting. I really like the accenting between the yellow and the black that they play on over the entire vehicle. On the hood, you got the cover there. You also have actual vents here, allowing airflow to come out the rear. On the door, you do have the click button for locking and unlocking. Come along the side, you got the little fuel cap there. No twisty cap underneath, but you do have a 33 gallon fuel tank, which is going to suck, especially as our gas prices are going up. Now down there you do have the Ram Active Terrain Blistine shocks. Your reservoirs are going out back for your nitrogen chambers for the extra dampening. And they are dynamic suspension, so it's constantly using an accelerometer to detect how you're driving, how you're sway, and then constantly adjusting the shocks based off of that. On the rear we do have this little step, push it down, pop it over. 
only on the driver's side. Put it away, you just kick it in. Cargo bed, does not come with a roll top. Got one on there though. A little bit dark in there. Havoc Edition does come with the bed liner. That might be a tier two part of the TRX. So that is a standard option on some TRXs from Ram. Big old tail lights in the back. Now let's go get inside, walk through the interior on this truck. Now everybody bashes on the reliability of SEA and I would say for pretty good reason, but the interior on this truck is a whole nother level of luxury. I mean, fit and finish is really incredible, especially for a pickup, especially for a ramp. We already got some dirt and stuff here, just some use, but from the interior itself, all your seams are well, I've not seen any snag threads. I've not seen any gaping plastic, all the knobs, the tactile, very responsive. Yeah, it's really quite an impressive. Oh, we got the beep there. And you also got the glove box. Still got a little options in there. And a secondary hidden stash right up there. Pretty cool. But this is the back seat. It's like an SUV pretty much back here. You have plenty of leg room, similar to what the Raptor has. And then you have your pouches, little molly straps on the back. Also AC heated and cooled seats in the rear. And then a little drop down console, flip up, put some stuff in there, cup holders, pretty nice. Now part of the tier two level of the Ram is the 19 speaker Harman Kardon system. It's a 900 watt system and they have speakers everywhere all over this vehicle. It's quite phenomenal. And so far it sounds incredible. Now starting off here with the center console, they did a really great job of one, giving you a large screen, but two, having quick access to all of your main features. I really hate when everything goes full on touchscreen and you have to go through menus just to turn your air up or down. So you have a quick mute button, super handy. And then one of my favorites, screen off. And when I drive, I almost always want my screen off, but you still have quick access to your temperature and then airspeed modes. Now back on that screen, we do have a wireless Apple CarPlay. So that's super handy there, getting quick to your apps. Spotify, whatever music you listen to there. Um, and then down here on the right, we have the TRX button, bringing us up into your vehicle mode. Now you can select one of the eight drive modes. Uh, here it adjusts kind of how your suspension dampening works, how your transmission shifts. So we have like a tow mode here. The tow mode here like puts on stability control. You're gonna have those different settings here. And then in the custom mode, you can go and set exactly how you want it to drive. Now in our drive modes, we come down here to vehicle again. You have your race options, you can go through and set when you want your shift light RPMs to swap for you. You can adjust your RPMs for launch control, where you want it to release. Then you have this race cool down mode, allowing the truck to cool its engine down between your runs. So back on the vehicle here, and then we also have our performance gauges. So like here's an example, this truck's got a drag timer. You've got some of your best times here. Uh, you've got the different gauges. So if you want to keep track of that, uh, you have your engine dyno built in, how many how much uh, horsepower versus torque you're putting out, um, and then RPMs over time. So kind of neat there. And G-Force accelerometer, so it shows we're on a lean here, three degrees to the right. You have your vehicle dynamics for your differentials. One thing this truck does not have is two-wheel drive. Um, you're in four-wheel high, low all the time. And now we also have a launch mode, but this truck is too, has too few of miles, so it does not let you activate that until you kind of get more miles on and break the engine in. Let's start this baby up. <laughs> oh man. Gosh dang. There we go. Driving this thing feels like driving a tank. 
you sit up so high and it's really got a lot of flow. Oh my God. Now, as far as the normal drive mode goes, right now we are running in auto, which is kind of just where you can leave it. Um, does your lower RPM shifts and then doesn't hold your RPMs as high when you're driving, um, helping you increase that fuel there. But when you do step on it, it quickly jumps over and <laughs> throws it into lower gear, giving you that launch. Now launch this thing zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds with the launch control. We're just gonna step on it here, see what we get to in a short spot. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> And that's the end. Woo, baby. It's uh, not too quick. Staying under the speed limit, clearly. But oh my gosh. That's neck snapping. And it's a pickup. They did a incredible amount of work to put this all together. That supercharger, one of my favorite sounds. Really, it's just so much fun. Oh my gosh. Now, the miles per gallon on this thing is a laughable 10 miles per gallon city and 14 miles per gallon highway. That is the EPA rating and is most likely not realistic especially when you have your 702 horsepower and stomping on it like this. We're not getting, oh my gosh. Yeah, we're not getting uh, 10 miles per gallon. All right, let me check what that what we got there. So far, the average miles per gallon is a 7.6. We have a 33 gallon fuel tank and that's gonna hurt when we fill it up. But uh, part of the cost of just... <laughs> now the controls on this thing um, are a little bit confusing at first. You're really gonna have to sit down and just take some time to learn all the different layers of menus and displays on here. Uh, you do have a nice HUD display up in the dash showing you some of your, uh, your speed limit and all the etc. But the same thing I know it's physics. I ran into it on almost all cars. When you drive with sunglasses that are polarized, you can't see your HUD. So somebody needs to come up with a way to uh, allow sunglasses and HUD usage. But the HUD is nice for nighttime driving. So as far as all the luxuries go in this truck, you have the full wireless Android or Apple CarPlay. So your phone can just sit down here in the wireless charging pad and be charging. Uh, you have your lane assist, your adaptive cruise control, which hands down, love that, don't wanna live without it. And then you have just a crazy amount of plugs throughout this car. So you got two USB-Cs there, two USB-As, a 12 volt here, you got more USB-Cs in the back, along with your standard 110 volt on 20. Now I will say, having a screen this large, you really don't wanna be looking this far down below. All the stuff you want typically, you got here on these handles, but when you start looking down here to say, okay, I wanna to get to vehicle or nav or whatever, your eyes completely are looking in this direction. This, the road is hardly your peripheral. So it's something to keep in mind with that. Uh, but as you drive it more, you'll kind of get used to being able to work with just your nav and all your uh, settings up above. Now, if you're wanting a daily driver, this thing, it does have all the comforts you'd need, regardless of your terrible fuel efficiency but the audio sounds incredible with the uh, Harman Kardon speakers in here. Um, when you step on it, you can hear the exhaust, but the road no noise, I mean, we're traveling at 55, 60 here right now, and it's not uh, deafening, audible. The wheels are pretty silent for being a massive 35 and knobby. Now, other than the joke of the fuel economy, this truck does comfortably hold five people. That bench seat in the rear, um, if you just have four, you have that nice flip down center console. Now for towing weight, 8,100 pounds. Obviously there's rams out there with much higher towing capacities up in the 1200s. This is really just focused on more the off-road Baja style truck. 
um, and it can tow quite a bit, but that's not what it's going for. That's not what your engine is set up for. Now I think the best aspect of this whole truck is how much excess in all categories. It's just a buffet of, oh, you want this? Here's all of it. You want suspension? Here's all of it. You want power? Here's all of it. And they just went all in, in all these different categories that really it's just comical. The end product where it's just a beast of a truck. It's heavy, it's fast, it's loud, it's wild, and just a ton of fun. I mean, you can't have a bad day driving this thing around. Now that's all I got for the Havoc TRX for you here today. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or things you want me to try. I'll be happy to get back with you. So thank you for your time. Peace.